good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is an honor and a pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And let me tell you, you know what? I am super excited and let me tell you why I am super excited. Uh, so this morning, uh, got up and, and took a couple of phone calls and uh, long before I had my coffee <laughs> and uh, jumped over to uh, check out my emails and um, received an email from a new platform, uh, Reason FM. And so it is a online platform, uh, but to God be the glory, uh, the email read that we have been added to their platform. And what I love about this right here is that there is nothing that we did. Nothing, absolutely nothing, we did not uh, submit. And God is just doing what he wants to do. And uh, so you can now tune in uh, into The Balance of Life via Reason.fm. And so I'd like to welcome that platform to the balance of life. I pray that what we share with you uh, during our time of radio, Tuesdays through Thursday, is food unto your soul. And here is why I am so excited. I am so excited simply because it is a, another uh, platform in which we get to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. It is a, another territory in which we get to expand to share the goodness of our Lord and Savior. And so I thank you so very much for the platform. I thank our Lord and Savior for this opportunity, for uh, this appointment, for this assignment. And so it allows us to broaden the horizon and just to share um, what God is doing. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We do know that we absolutely love our, our listening audience. And so no matter where you are tuning in from, whether it is here at Reason FM, uh, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Radio Line, we are so appreciative of, of this great opportunity. Uh, I am just in awe at the goodness of God and what he is doing in our lives. And, and it's an honor that we get to share this with you. And uh, you know what? If you have a event or you, if you have a, um, a ministry that you would like for us to make mention of, while we're on the air, we would love to hear from you. All you have to do is email us here at The Balance of Life. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. And uh, we will share your ministry or even your community events. We have been sharing community events for some back to school uh, events that are taking place. I know that there are a few in Tampa, Florida. There are some going on here in New Jersey. No matter where you are, if you would like for us to make mention of your community event, all you have to do is email us. And there is no charge for us to make mention of your community event or your ministry. Our email address, once again, is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. And what we're going to talk about today, something hit my spirit. You know, I just love, love, love when the Holy Spirit gives me a word and I am the first partaker of that word. And then when I am allowed to share it with you. And on last night, and I'm looking at my text messages, at 10.42 p.m., I heard, make room for what you want. Now, I'm going to tell you uh, some things have been going on and transpiring, and we're prepared for just to be in the, the right line uh, with what God wants to do. Uh, I believe it's been a few days I have been watching... Uh, 
uh, a show and uh, it's about renovations and I absolutely really enjoyed it the first night I watched it I was up till midnight and I was watching the show and and allowing just the Holy Spirit to deal with me about it well in order for us to um, get ready for what God is going to do, the renovations, some things have to be torn down. Some things have to be recognized that um, they have met their purpose and they need to be removed, cleared, so that God can bring in the new, so that he can do the restoration and the renovations. And so when that word hit my spirit last night that uh, to make room for what you want, uh, then I am going to go into a, a, a place and a space of prayer so that uh, the Holy Spirit can reveal unto me what needs to be removed so that he can clear the way. The way is cleared uh, so that some things can be renovated. And and I thank God for that. And, and something else that hit my spirit. So I, I'm sitting here and uh, I, I am looking at the clock's across the wall ahead of me. I have my cell phone in front of me. So I'm looking at the time and I look at my computer and I notice that the time wasn't right. And let me tell you something. And I, I, I wish I would have did a screenshot because my clock in my cell phone said 1225. My computer, my desktop was saying 1216. And immediately this hit me. It is important to know your season. The date could be right, but the time could be wrong. And so we don't want to move prematurely. But we want to understand and know our season. That's right. That's why it's so important to stay in tune with God. Stay in tune so that the Holy Spirit can release when it is your time and when it is your season. The date was right. The clock on the wall, listen, there are three clocks on the wall across from me. My cell phone has the right time. And when I'm looking at it now, guess what? It's now lined up. So I believe that that instant happened for a reason. He allowed me to see that w there was something that didn't have the right time. And so now I, I must stay in a place of prayer to make sure that all things line up, that I am in my season so that something is going to release, but it has a specific time to release. So I thank God for those nuggets. I thank God for those revelations that when he allows me to see something, I immediately want to look at it in the spiritual realm. And like I said, now my clock on my desktop, the clock on the wall that's across from me, and my cell phone are all synced at the right time of 12.39 p.m. And so I believe he wanted me to see that at that precise moment. It means something. I take nothing lightly. I take nothing for granted. In all things, I consider that there is something that needs to be revealed unto me. And I am a transparent person so that when things like this hit me, guess what? I want to share it because I know it's not just for me. Now, there are some things that, yes, they are just for me. But I feel in my spirit that I can share this with you. Make sure that everything is lined up because everything must be lined up before he releases it before there is a release so if there is anything that's not lined up the Holy Spirit will reveal it it does not mean it won't happen it just simply means that everything must be in proper alignment with God so that those things can be released so I want to encourage you today, you're not being denied. It's not that he's not going to answer your prayer. 
what needs to take place is everything is in proper alignment with God. Everything being in proper alignment with the will of God. The date is correct. The timing was wrong. So it wasn't that time. It wasn't the time. There is a date set. And when everything lines up, it will be released. That's a prophetic word. I accept it for myself. I want to be in perfect alignment with the will of God. We'll be back in a moment. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, that word hit me so very, very uh, powerful that I had to go ahead and create something and post. And it is on our uh, page for the balance of life as well as my personal page listen everything must line up before it has been given the release so let it line up let it line up don't rush the process it's going to happen it's going to happen once again I would like to welcome our uh, newest addition the newest uh, addition to our platform of the balance of life and it is reason FM thank you so very much for including us in your platform we are so very very grateful for this opportunity where we are allowed to just share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am so excited about what he is doing in this season. And let me tell you something. We just want to uh, extend uh, the covering of prayer. Uh, our day of intercessory prayer for our listening audience is on Tuesdays. And so listen, that expands that to you. And uh, you know what? I had to kind of like pinch myself simply because uh when when you think about uh, the the territory and and the platforms and and you're doing the will of God and He stretches you, and so I said, Lord, I thank you. Please keep me in a place of humility uh, that I will yet remain that person who walks in obedience and humility, doing the will of God. I am humbled by this and uh, you have no idea um, I, I just really need to get into my secret closet and and just say Lord I thank you Lord I I worship you from 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 everything that I have I give God all of the honor and all of the glory due unto his name he is worthy to be praised also for those who had an opportunity to join us for virtual Bible study last night Thank you so very much for being our guest uh, for Bible study with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridged in New Jersey. The pastor of Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridged in New Jersey, is Dr. Lillian C. Allen. The overseer of Faith Outreach Incorporated is Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. And I am so very, very grateful that... Uh, We've uh, over two years now, I have been their assistant pastor. And so I thank God for the opportunity to teach Bible study on last night. We talked about uh, continuing the series in prayer and the principles of faith adding to it. So if you would like to go back for a replay, you can find that on the church's Facebook page. Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey, or it is on my personal page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. And we will air it for our Friday broadcast of The Balance of Life via our YouTube channel. And uh, you can uh, definitely be able to go and watch it. Uh, I believe we will broadcast it to our Roku 
network channel as well. So what do you think? What do you think? Knowing your season. It's important to know your season and to make room for the renovation. Whenever God gave instructions for even Noah in building the ark, he had to clear away some space for the ark to be built. Some trees had to be cut down. He had to do some building uh, for the rebuilding of the gate, Nehemiah uh, surveyed what was broken, and before anything could be repaired uh, or reconstructed, things had to be removed and cleared away. When the house of uh, the temple was built, uh, there was space cleared out for that. And then for the rebuilding, the things that had been broken and destroyed had to be moved away so that the rebuilding could take place. The same thing in our lives today. It was demonstrated in the natural, but it has to take place in the spiritual realm first. And so he removes the old sinful nature from us. You know, the things that we did before we accepted him as Lord and Savior, the things we did before we grew under spiritual maturity, those things had to be broken and destroyed and removed from us. Yes, yokes, uh, the sin of bondage had to be broken and removed from us so that he can do some renovations, so that he can rebuild uh, I am reminded of the potter's will, how the first vessel was created, but it was found not to be usable. And so it was broken and destroyed, but yet rebuilt. And it was rebuilt. And so allow him to do that in our lives today. Some things that we have in our lives, uh, they either, they've either met their purpose and their season or they're not good for the master's use. And so he has to remove those things so that he can renovate, so that he can rebuild, that we are vessels of honor. And I am so grateful. Listen, it was not easy. There were some things that were broken in me. And I didn't understand at the time. I, I've had to give up some things. I've lost some things. Some things were uh, removed from me. Some things I gave up willingly. Some things I tried to hold on to. I'm just being honest with you. But it was for my good that they were broken and destroyed, that they were removed. And now we are in a, a, a season of renovation. We are in a season of rebuilding. And, and listen, that means some things has to be cleared away in order for the newness to come in. It is important that we understand where we are in him. And the only way we can understand where we are in him is that we must Ask him, ask him, ask him to reveal, God, where am I in you? What is it that's going on in my life and in this season that you want to reveal unto me? And let me tell you something, he will do just that. We'll be back in a moment. We would like to invite you to visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonministries.com. This is our website for the College of Ministry and Mentoring Programs. And on that website, you can find our life applications, which are free to you. All you have to do is request your copy of our life applications. And every first Monday of the month, we email them out. That's it. Email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com 
and you can request your copy of the life applications or you can grab them from our website they are updated every first Monday of the month also on our website we have some Bible study teaching tools and which you can utilize for Bible study to help you get a better understanding of what the Word of God says and so in this next uh, quarter we will be doing some updates we will definitely archive what we have there uh, so don't worry we're not going to take it down we're just going to put it in an archive and upload some new material for the Bible study teaching tools once again visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonministries.com you know what yesterday browsing and I was looking for uh, online googling one of the books that uh, we published a couple of years ago I believe it's my third or fourth book uh, motivation breaks every chain and uh, I, I was looking for it because our subject for yesterday was walking under the blessings of God and this particular book my son created the cover this is actually, I believe this is the second cover design he did for me. And uh, the first time he did a design, he was in the ninth grade, I believe. He was in the ninth, uh, going to the 10th grade. So I wanted this particular backdrop because we create a flyer every day for what we broadcast. And lo and behold, this particular book is available on walmart.com. And so I'm so excited. It's so good to see that. Uh, different platforms carry your material. So Motivation Breaks Every Chain, you can purchase via walmart.com. And uh, we have a few books with Barnes & Noble's online store. When the Heart Has Changed and um, The Flight of Submission, you can purchase those books via Barnes & Noble's online store. So there are several different platforms in which you can purchase our books. Of course, you can always go to Amazon or you can make your purchase directly with us. Uh, I'm so excited. Let me tell you something. God is doing something awesome and uh, I'd love to share it with you. We'd love to hear about your testimonies about what God is doing in your life because I know he's doing some great and awesome things as we line ourselves up to do his will. And, uh, and you know what? Just know your season. I believe every season is a season of sowing. And so guess what? Sow a seed. Sow a seed of the word of God. Sow a seed of the fruit of the spirit today. And when led, sow a seed financially when you are directed to. All right. So let me make mention of this. Uh, Bow Ministry presents Back to School Supply Drive-By on Saturday, August the 7th, 2021 from 9 a.m. to 1130 a.m. at 1707 West Clifton Street, Tampa, Florida, 33603 is going to be the back to school pickup. Well, we have been talking about the drop off for donations that ended on the 26th, which was this past Monday. Registration for pickup is still taking place. I love the way this ministry operates. They have the drop off for donations. Then they have a time period of registration. Once you have registered, then on August the 7th, you can just go by and pick up your back to school supply. Once again, for more details, visit www.bowministry.org or request more information at bowministryvp at gmail.com. Once again, the pickup date is August the 7th, 2021. And I do see here registration ended on the 27th. So you might want to contact them to see if there are any extensions. I'm not sure, but definitely give it a try if you're in the Tampa Bay area. Also, let's see in the Tampa Bay area, there is another back to school event that we know of, and it is with Tampa Diamond Divas. Once again, that is Tampa Diamond Divas. They are doing a back to school 
event for the community. And if you want to do a monetary donation, if you're out of the area to help them uh, give back to the community, you can do that as well. There is a flyer on our personal Facebook page. It says back to school event, school is opening. And this is being hosted once again by Tampa Diamond Divas. Uh, this event will take place August the 7th from 12 p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. at Tampa Mall, 5400 Bush Boulevard, Temple Terrace, Florida, 33612. Now, if you would like to do a monetary donation for this event to help them in this event, you can do so by doing a cash app to dollar sign Latrice DD President. This is for Tampa Diamond Divas. They do have a, uh, a Facebook page and they're also on Instagram. Great community event. We had them on the air with us, I want to say about a month ago. And uh, awesome, awesome uh, community of events. Also, if you're in the New Jersey area, Divine Abundance International, this is their 17th annual Back to School Book Bag Giveaway, uh, Redeeming Life Full Gospel Ministry at 246 Irving Avenue, Millville, New Jersey, 08332. This event will take place Saturday, August the 28th, 2021, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and it is being uh, hosted by the founder, Elder Beverly L. Darisol. Once again, these events are on my personal Facebook page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, do what we can um, to just support them and what they are doing. And once again, if you are in need, uh, there are resources out there for you. And uh, I just wanted to just center today's broadcast around what God is doing. Uh, he has been doing great and marvelous things in our lives. And, and I want to share that with you. I truly believe that uh, it's nothing that we did on our own. It is by the grace and mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is because of your prayers, your words of encouragement, and I just believe that as we continue to do the will of God, He will direct our path. You know, a couple of months ago, we began to talk about inviting God into every area of our lives. Scripture tells us over in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, in all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths. And so we begin to invite him into every area of our lives here. I invite him into every area of my life. There isn't an area in my life that I don't want him in. I want him in every area. I want him in the areas that I struggle with. Because I know that if I invite him in those areas, he's going to deliver me. And, and so I encourage you as well today, invite him into every area of your life. Don't leave him out. Don't leave him out, but him invite him in and don't just and invite him in and hold his hands and bind him. No, invite him in to make some changes. Invite him in to do a beautiful work in your life. I truly believe that whatever God starts, he is capable to finish. We have to allow him to do the work in our lives. So once again, welcome to our new platform, a new extension to our ministry family, our audience over at Reason.fm. I am truly grateful and honored. And let us not forget just the powerful nuggets that were dropped today. Make sure that all things line up, the date, the time, make sure it all lines up for the release. Know your season. And listen, some are in a season of renovation. So that means that some things must be broken and torn away so that he can start to rebuild. Always remember, 
We love you without measure, simply because we believe in the potential of you. Have a great day, everyone. Continue to press in the presence of the Lord. Have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon.